So Vanguard has just launched and in the game there's a lot of weapon levels you need to get through to obviously level up your guns, to get new attachments, grind for camos, that kind of thing. So obviously it's really important but obviously it can take quite a long time to level up weapons. So in today's video I'm going to be covering the fastest ways currently to level up your guns by getting more weapon XP in Call of Duty Vanguard. I'm going to cover the fastest ways to level up your weapons in Vanguard multiplayer today but I'm sure there'll be other methods for like zombies and other modes and we'll cover that in the future but today we're just going to focus on multiplayer so there's some really fast ways we're going to talk about it so stay tuned until the end of the video so you don't miss out on any important tips but obviously if you do want to jump to a specific part of the video there will be timestamps in the description so feel free to jump to them i'll also have lots of other videos and playlists for like camo guides and other like videos that i'll be making for the brand new game if you need to check out any other guides like leveling up fast leveling up the battle pass getting any of the camo challenges done anything like that there will be loads of guides and there'll be loads of playlists for that so feel free to check them out there'll be a link in the description and a card on screen obviously just bear in mind as well that because the game's just come out at some point there will be a few changes probably there'll be patches and so on so if, if things are slightly different when you're watching this video compared to when I'm making the video then obviously just bear in mind that you might need to tweak it to whatever's happened if anything's changed or anything but in general these tips should be useful throughout the year so without further ado let's get into the tips. So for multiplayer the best game modes at the moment will be ones with more enemies with a fast pace and lots of potential kills so these are ones like kill confirmed, domination, TDM, patrol and free for all. Those are kind of my top five modes that I would go for. Soon there will obviously be you know like a couple of weeks or months there'll probably be like like mosh pits for better maps and new ones that come out i wouldn't be surprised to see any sort of new close quarters combat very small maps similar to like shipment and ones like that that they'll bring out like with season one and, and so forth so that may come out obviously if they're out use those but i think in general these modes are fine now hardcore mode gives enemies less health so it's easier to get kills um especially with weapons that are a low level that you haven't yet leveled up so obviously they've got poor attachments you can't do as well with them definitely give hardcore a go it's obviously easier to kill the enemies it's easier to get kills and therefore it's quicker to get weapon xp so i definitely recommend recommend going for hardcore and then playing any of the modes that I've suggested but obviously if something new comes out that's better then obviously just use that. Another very important aspect which people probably haven't given a lot of thought to is combat pacing. Now this is a setting in the game menu that determines how many players will be in your matches. So there's three different settings. There's either tactical setting, there's an assault setting or there's a blitz setting. Now tactical, the green one, is a setting that basically puts you into the smallest player size matches as possible. So you get less players in a match but obviously it's the same maps. So basically it means there's more people who are likely to be sort of sitting around camping and moving slowly. You're less likely to come across players. Probably better for beginners, but we're looking to get XP as fast as possible for our weapons. So we need more kills. Therefore, tactical is definitely not the way to go. The middle ground is assault. And obviously this is a nice sweet spot because you have more enemies, but it's not too hectic. So definitely assault is probably the way to go. But if you're all right with it, blitz can be okay as well. It just depends on what game mode I think in particular, like whether there's like an objective or not, that kind of thing. But blitz can be good as well. Try it out. If you don't like it, then I think most people will probably be best with assault. The other thing is maps. So currently there's some really good maps in the game. We've got a large selection of maps. They're not all amazing, obviously, but the ones that are really good for like, getting weapon XP by getting lots of kills are these ones. So the absolute best one, in my opinion, right now is called Das House. It's got a very similar aesthetic to like Shoot House, I think, from Modern Warfare. It's a small, fast-paced map. It's indoors, and like I said, it kind of plays very much like Shipment, Shoot House, Nuketown, those kind of fast-paced maps that everyone loves. I think it's beco going to become a new favourite in this game, so definitely make use of Das House. Like I said, you get kills really fast. It's small. You don't have to move very far before you come across an enemy, especially if you're on a mode like like Blitz or Assault. There's more enemies, so it's really, really good. So combine the settings with, with these maps. Das House is a fantastic map, and it's really, really quick to get kills and earn weapon XP. So definitely, you know, try and search this map out. Obviously, you don't get a choice but whatever you match you get into if you're not happy with it then sort of back out and try and search for this das house map there are other good maps as well ones like castle probably also hotel royale dome those kind of ones again they're sort of smaller maps faster paced but i would say if you can das house is probably the best map to go for currently in the game on top of this there's some other things you can do other than deciding you know your settings and your maps and so on and the modes there's other ways that you can get more weapon xp so the first thing obviously you can do is getting assists so when you get assists it awards you a similar amount of weapon xp to getting a normal kill so all you have to do is literally just put one bullet into them and sort of attempt to kill them as long as someone else comes along and kills them you will get some weapon xp for that and again that's really useful so even if you don't think you can kill someone at least try and put a bullet into them get some assists and that will also help to kind of rack up the bonus at the end of the game other things you can do are like destroying enemy equipment or score streaks or field upgrades is easy xp so for example like shooting down a spy plane or someone's field mic or something like that that's a really easy way to get some more weapon XP, basically. And another important thing which people often forget about is to get more exciting kills for which you earn medals and hence more weapon XP. So basically, if you're 
going for any of the camo grinds, this is a great, great way to do this because the kind of more exciting kills I'm talking about are ones like headshots, long shots, bloodthirsties, so you're like going on streaks, rapid kills, so like double kills, triple kills, and so on. All of those kind of exciting kills which you get a medal for, those will get you more weapon XP than standard basic kills. So definitely important and definitely try and get more exciting kills when you can rather than just a bog standard, shoot them in the chest, they die, that's it. Because then obviously overall you get less weapon XP. You also want to try and scout out enemies as well because obviously the more enemies you can find, the more kills you can potentially get and the more weapon XP. So the way to do that is making use of your spy planes, the minimap, listening out for footsteps and noise, like grenades going off and stuff and uh, to kind of get a better idea of where enemies are on the map try and head towards them to get more kills it's fairly obvious those are kind of my main tips for getting more weapon xp but there's also some other great weapon xp boosts which are very simple a lot of them are always available as well so definitely make use of these because i think a lot of people will not have put emphasis or actually realized how important they are so one of the new ones for this game is that certain operators will have a favorite weapon and when you're using a certain weapon with this specific operator you'll get a weapon xp boost just because it's their weapon of choice so obviously once you unlock certain operators you, it will tell you which weapon is their favorite it'll kind of when you hover over the operator it will say their favorite weapon is like this or that so once you know that obviously if you need to level up a specific weapon then obviously try and choose that operator because it gives you a weapon xp boost literally just for playing as that person simple as that really really simple so definitely make use of that method and don't skip out over it so for example you'll see that one of the operators daniel his favorite weapon is the m1 garand halima's favorite weapon is the mp40 and then roland's favorite weapon is the stg4 44 and so on so if you need to level up any of those say then obviously you just pick that operator and that will give you a weapon xp boost i'm not sure the exact number off my top of my head but it'll probably be 5 10 20 percent something like that another new thing for the game is that supposedly sledgehammer games say that when you do objective actions so for example capping a domination flag while using your weapon or if you get a kill with that weapon while doing the objective you'll get an xp boost this is according to what they've said so definitely try and go for the objective when you can as well because obviously in the past it didn't used to count much for anything Obviously, you'd get slightly more if you're like sitting on a flag, but doing these objective actions supposedly will get you more weapon XP. So try and get kills and go for the objectives while you're also getting these kills, and that will give you a bigger boost for weapon XP. Another thing as well is that if you go to your weapon loadouts attachment slots in the gunsmith section of the, of the menu, you can see that equipping the surplus kit attachment to your weapon allows you to earn additional XP per kill. Now, it's obviously not clear whether this means weapon XP or just normal XP. I believe it's both. If anyone knows different then obviously feel free to you know correct me but I, I believe it's both so it should give you more weapon xp and normal xp as well so obviously that can be great to level up your weapon even faster don't forget as well that there'll be blueprints in the game and if you've got a blueprint for, for a specific weapon it will give you the attachments already so you don't have to level it up and start with like the base weapon that's really crap you can also use like a good blueprint that's got decent attachments unlocked already so you don't have to go through the process of having to unlock them so that can help speed things up as well so if you've got any blueprints you know check for those and if you've got any that are suitable for your weapon then obviously make use of them other basic things which i'm sure you guys know about are things like you know double weapon xp weekends they're very common especially i imagine there's gonna be lots of them for the time being because obviously the game has just launched so take advantage of these when you can also double weapon xp tokens you can get these from various methods so for example the playstation packs from the store the for you section of the store sometimes has free bundles including double weapon xp tokens leveling up the battle pass to certain tiers so at the moment we've got the pre-season battle pass which is sort of like the one from black ops cold war but they've also added in 24 vanguard tiers some of those are weapon xp tokens so you can level up the battle pass i think in cold war warzone or vanguard and every now and then you can earn weapon xp tokens which are specific for vanguard so obviously if you level up the battle pass that can help as well and then finally the last main thing is that post launch i believe sledgehammer games at some point will probably add the option to earn weapon xp tokens through daily challenges like we've been able to do with warzone cold war and modern warfare i don't think it's in the game yet but i'm sure it will be at some point so when it is obviously make use of that as well the final thing is that if you have any double weapon xp tokens which are specific to warzone and i'm assuming in the near future specific to cold war as well those probably won't show up on vanguard but what you most likely can do is head into like cold war or warzone activate those tokens if they're not showing up in the vanguard game and then jump back to vanguard because even though you couldn't see them in vanguard you've activated it on your account and then if you jump back to cod vanguard you'll still get the double weapon xp so make sure that like if there's any opportunities of any tokens on other games activate them and come back to vanguard and it'll still count so definitely make use of that because i think a lot of people aren't aware that that's possible one of the last main boosts is that if you are on playstation playing with a teammate either on PlayStation or through crossplay on like Xbox or PC will give you a 25% 
bonus to your weapon XP. So pair this with the other tips, it will allow you to level up your guns really, really fast. So these are all the fastest ways right now in the game to level up your weapons. Hopefully this is useful to you guys. This is everything you need to do. Simple as that. So make use of all these tips, try and combine them together because that really, really helps, especially things like assault, combat pacing, you know, the death house map, modes like domination, free for all patrol, kill confirm, those kind of ones, getting assist, you know, destroying equipment, using your minimap or listening up for sounds to find enemies, using a favorite operator to get a weapon XP boost. All of this stuff together will really, really help level your weapons even faster. So I hope you found that useful. If you found these tips useful, leaving a like on the video will be much appreciated so that other people can find this video too. And if you have any other tips I didn't mention, then make sure to share them below in with us all in the comment section. As previously mentioned, I also make a ton of other useful like multiplayer zombies and warzone guides. So if any of this sounds good to you guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon next to it to turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my new videos which are uploaded. So that'd be really greatly appreciated if you guys want to do that. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this useful and I'll hopefully I'll see you guys all on the next one.